One of the questions, you know, has been, well, you know, it's not so important to treat pain, it doesn't kill you. Well, in fact, John Liebeskin, a very famous um, neurophysiologist and pain expert, did a series of experiments that basically demonstrated that pain could kill you, to the point that these animals stopped eating, stopped drinking, and basically died. This persistence of, of pain, these um, continuous painful stimuli to animals, caused them to withdraw from the group of animals, caused them to stop eating, caused them to stop um, uh, walking about in their cages and withdrawing from their group. And so these are what we see in patients. Um, they can't eat, they can't drink, um, they're in such severe pain, they wish to die. And then you relieve their pain and they begin to sort of look on life somewhat differently. Pain is something nobody should live with. It, um, it gives your quality of life no meaning. And with the opiates, I've had all of that come back. Paula has a, a very severe neuropathic form of pain where disease process had affected a nerve that went to her arm and caused significant dysfunction of the arm, but also this horrible radiating burning pain 10 out of 10 type pain. The pain is so bad that I went into intensive care and I stayed there for two and a half weeks and I have no memory or recollection of the time before that to the time during that, um, that period. Um, you couldn't even touch me. It was just horrible. Pain is a horrible rent um, destroyer of the soul. It keeps people from being able to live life with any quality or die with any dignity. If it hadn't been for Dr. Thomas, I always say he saved my life, and I'm not kidding, he really did. He gave me different opiates and different pills that he tried to um, get me into a place where my life had quality. And um, finally, I mean, it took a long time for him to really find which one worked and which one didn't. And it took the opiates finally to break through the pain. She's actually having morphine specifically put into the fluid around the spinal cord to more optimally treat her pain. So we can actually give her a lot lower levels of opioid that are much more potent without causing the side effects. Every day I can wake up and I can smile and know it's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna be in pain. Um, I can function, I can do the dishes, I can make the bed, I can, you know, walk the cat. <laughs> I can go outside and pull weeds and I can be happy it, with no pain, knowing that I'm not going to be curled up crying in a corner. It's too bad that opiates aren't available for a lot of other people who are in pain. Go into a hospice program. Um, you see a patient who is writhing in pain. You see them given a medication on a three or four hour basis and you see them, their pain improved they're wide awake, their mood may be slightly better, they're able to interface with their families, and they immediately say, well, why didn't I take this sooner? I love my opiates. <laughs> I couldn't live without my opiates. <laughs>